The skies over Xi'an, China, recently revealed a game-changing innovation that could redefine modern warfare. The KJ-3000, a state-of-the-art airborne early warning and control AEWC aircraft. With cutting-edge radar systems and advanced communication capabilities, this isn't just a new addition to China's arsenal. It's a bold statement of their intent to dominate the battlefield of the future. But why is the KJ-3000 so significant? How does it compare to global counterparts? And what does its debut mean for the balance of power in the Pacific? Let's dive deep into the story behind this remarkable leap in military aviation. Let's start by dissecting the KJ-3000's design, a masterpiece of engineering that stands out even in the crowded world of military aviation. At first glance, two features of this aircraft demand attention in the enormous rotating radar dome, or rotodome, perched on top, and a distinctive bulge on its tail. But these aren't just aesthetic quirks, they're the heart of what makes the KJ-3000 a technological powerhouse. The Rotodome houses an advanced active electronically scanned array ESA radar system, capable of delivering 360-degree coverage. Why does this matter? In modern warfare, the ability to detect and track targets across air, land, and sea from vast distances is crucial. Imagine being able to monitor enemy stealth aircraft before they're even aware of your presence. That's the level of capability the KJ-3000 brings to the table. And this isn't just theoretical. ASA radars are proven to be faster, more accurate, and harder to jam than older systems. Now, let's talk about the tail bulge. Analysts suggest it houses a suite of advanced communication systems. These systems allow the KJ-3000 to act as an airborne command center, linking multiple military platforms, drones, fighter jets, naval vessels into a single, cohesive network. This network-centric warfare capability is the future of combat where coordinated attacks and rapid information sharing determine success. Powering all this is the WS-20 engine, a homegrown marvel that eliminates China's reliance on foreign technology. The WS-20 provides greater thrust and fuel efficiency, allowing the KJ-3000 to carry its heavy radar systems while maintaining long endurance and operational range. These design choices aren't without challenges, of course. The added weight and drag from the radar dome and electronics reduce the aircraft's speed and maneuverability. But here's the catch. Speed isn't the KJ-3000's mission. Its job is to stay aloft for hours, gathering and distributing critical information, a role it's perfectly engineered to fulfill. With such a revolutionary design, the KJ-3000 not only strengthens China's technological independence, but also sets the stage for its ambitions on the global stage. The KJ-3000's debut couldn't have come at a more pivotal moment. Its unveiling occurs against the backdrop of rising tensions in regions like the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. But what makes this aircraft a true game-changer is its potential to shift the balance of power in these contested zones. At its core, the KJ-3000 is a force multiplier. It doesn't just detect enemy targets, it directs friendly forces to counter them efficiently. Imagine a chessboard where every move is visible to one player but hidden from the other. That's the advantage the KJ-3000 provides to China's military. It's a critical asset for coordinating operations across air, sea, and even cyber domains. This aircraft is also a direct response to U.S. dominance in the AEWC field, where platforms like the Boeing E-7 Wedgetail and Northrop Grumman E-2D Advanced Hawkeye have long set the standard. By introducing the KJ-3000, China sends a clear message, it's ready to compete at the highest level. And with its ability to detect stealth aircraft, it directly challenges the supremacy of U.S. fighter jets like the F-22 and F-35. Regionally, this development has significant implications for China's neighbors. Countries like Japan, South Korea, and India are likely re-evaluating their own military strategies in response to the KJ-3000's capabilities. For Taiwan, already under immense pressure, this aircraft represents a new level of surveillance and command that complicates its defense plans. But the KJ-3000 isn't just a regional tool, it's a statement of global ambition. By fielding an aircraft of this caliber, China demonstrates that it's no longer content to play second fiddle in military technology. 
Instead, it seeks to position itself as a peer competitor to the United States, capable of developing and deploying systems that rival or even surpass those of Western nations. The KJ-3000's importance extends beyond its technical specs. It's a symbol of China's rapid progress in indigenous innovation, fueled by years of investment in its defense industry. It also highlights a broader shift in global power dynamics, where traditional Western dominance is increasingly challenged by emerging players. While the KJ-3000 is undoubtedly a technological marvel, it's not without limitations. For starters, the aircraft's large radar dome and electronic systems significantly increase its weight and drag. This impacts its speed and maneuverability, making it less agile than smaller, more streamlined aircraft. But is this really a drawback? Not necessarily. For an AEWC platform, endurance and operational efficiency matter far more than agility. Another challenge lies in its untested status. As of now, much of what we know about the KJ-3000 is based on analysis of leaked photos and speculative reports. Until it's fully deployed and tested in real-world scenarios, its true capabilities remain uncertain. This raises questions about whether the aircraft can live up to its lofty expectations. Comparing the KJ-3000 to its Western counterparts also reveals some gaps. Systems like the E-7 Wedgetail have years of operational experience and proven effectiveness. The KJ-3000, on the other hand, is a newcomer. While it promises advanced features, it must prove its reliability and resilience in complex combat environments. But perhaps the most significant challenge isn't technical, it's geopolitical. The KJ-3000's introduction will almost certainly escalate regional tensions. Its presence in the Taiwan Strait, for example, could be seen as a provocative move, increasing the risk of miscalculation or conflict. Despite these challenges, the KJ-3000's development marks a major milestone for China's defense industry. It showcases Beijing's ability to produce cutting-edge systems independently, reducing reliance on foreign suppliers. This self-sufficiency is particularly important as China faces international sanctions and trade restrictions. The KJ-3000 also reflects a broader trend in global military competition, where nations increasingly prioritize advanced technologies to gain an edge. Whether it's AI-driven systems, hypersonic weapons, or next-generation aircraft, the race for innovation is reshaping the way conflicts are fought and won. The KJ-3000 isn't just another aircraft, it's a symbol of China's ambition to redefine air power and global military dynamics. From its advanced ASA radar to its role as a command hub, this platform exemplifies the future of warfare, where information, coordination, and innovation are the keys to success. While challenges remain, the KJ-3000's debut signals that China is no longer content to follow in the footsteps of others. Instead, it's carving out its own path, challenging established powers and reshaping the balance of power in the process. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.